Zwei Group invites all AEC industry leaders to the 2024 AEC Small Business and Entrepreneurship Forum, the premier event for small firms in the AEC sector. Experience innovative strategies and insights on May 21st, crafted by Zweig Group's industry experts. Engage in keynotes and interactive sessions focused on recruitment, retention, and business growth. Join Zwei Group for this unique networking opportunity and take your business to new heights. Secure your spot today and be part of the AEC industry's future. Visit ZweigGroup.com for more information. The Zwei Group team looks forward to welcoming you. Welcome to the Zweig Letter Podcasts, putting architectural, engineering, planning, and environmental consulting guru, Mark Zweig, straight talk in your ear. Mark has more than 30 years of experience helping AEC and environmental firms thrive, and these podcasts deliver his invaluable management, industry, client, and HR advice directly to you, free of charge. The Zweig Letter Podcasts let you develop professionally wherever you are. Stop being afraid to be different. Good marketing has the power to change your firm and your life. If you can figure out how to drive demand for what your firm does beyond your ability to supply it, everything changes. There's no need to work for bad clients who won't pay good fees. Say goodbye to slow pay clients. And not so fond farewell to clients who abuse you and your staff. And hello to your ability to attract and retain a quality staff of competent people who always get the job done, a fatter bank account, and a lot less stress. But we have a problem. Those of us working in the AEP and environmental business, for the most part, when it comes to marketing, are conformists. We're all doing the same thing, living our stereotypical roles and getting about the same results. What do I mean? Well, most architectural marketing is about the same. Architects tend to focus on pretty pictures of unoccupied buildings, or even worse, pretty drawings of buildings that haven't been built yet. Either way, the buildings either aren't being used by people, people are messy, or haven't been built. Nothing screams disconnect from construction costs more loudly than selling a design that isn't built. These kinds of images coupled with texts full of architectural speak gobbledygook. And you all know what I mean. Big multi-syllable words strung together in meaningless diatribes with a subtle implication of how ignorant the readers must be by comparison. And you get the picture. Then add to this kind of material limitless design competitions, messy offices, and a penchant for odd-looking glasses, and the stereotype is fully fleshed out. Engineers, by comparison, have their own unique tendencies that tend to show in their marketing efforts. They love to use technical terminology and acronyms that those of us who are non-engineers don't understand, as well as overwhelm readers and listeners with way too much information and way too many details. That 10,000-square-foot commercial building is often over-described down to the type of foundation, size of structural bays, roof spans to the inch, HVAC loads and capacities, and so on. Engineers often get so mired down in detail that they forget what they're doing and why. Couple this with a lack of confidence in face-to-face meetings, ill-fitting sport coats, and a love for gadgets, and the stereotype is well-established. Both architects and engineers, as well as other allied disciplines, are handling their marketing similarly. Way too much effort is expended reacting to opportunities to submit proposals and qualification packages with little thought. Branding efforts are largely ignored. Direct mail and e-marketing is infrequently used and resisted. There's no good central database of clients and potential clients for each market served. Even sending a Christmas card is difficult due to the lack of a good distribution list. And there's way too much over-reliance on a few people who are good sellers and who have relationships with clients. Firms who break out of the stereotypes and get off the well-worn cow paths established by other firms from a marketing standpoint really are doing things differently and taking some risks. They build a brand that makes the phone ring and emails come in with new opportunities daily that they can carefully evaluate and follow up on if 
they are compatible with the firm's mission and goals. But to build a brand, you first have to believe it's possible. Take a look at HOK, Gensler, CH2M Hill, Fig Engineers, Architectonica, EDSA, and others. They did it. How did they do it? By focusing on what they're good at, by being consistent in how they use their names and logos, by hiring real experts, by being unwilling to work for low fees so they can actually do a good job and spend money on people, technology, and marketing. So the virtuous cycle repeats. By not viewing marketing expenses as overhead, but instead as an investment in the firm. By being selective about the work they do and who they do it for. And by everyone else in their space doing lots of things differently, from proposals to presentations to the actual work itself. Yes, all of this is part of marketing. It's a wide-ranging activity that touches every single aspect of your company. It can change your future, and it can change your life. Embrace it instead of fighting it if you want to break out of your geographic bounds and make it to the big leagues. Thanks for tuning in to this Swag Letter Podcast. We hope that you can apply Mark's no-holds-barred advice to your daily professional life. If you want more wisdom and inspiration, in addition to information about finance, HR, and marketing your firm, subscribe to the print or digital version of the Zweig Letter online at zweiggroup.com forward slash publications using promo code 15podcast15.